Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, we've got the Lion card over here as the first card and this is usually about some news that was rather upsetting. That stirred up a lot of issues. Uh, you've got that fire below it. Uh, so there's some issue that has been going on. There's some shocking kind of news that came in for you and it caused a lot of drama. But it looks like those that will die off as well, it, you know, that drama will come to an end. It's something to do with contracts. It's something to do with, you know, maybe relationships as well. So this could be something that's going on uh, within your personal life, within your marriage. There could have been a divorce. You've got that king of so uh, spades over there, which is like the king of swords. So there could have been, you know, uh, some kind of shocking news that you heard uh, within your uh, relationship. This could also have been, um, you know, um, something legal that you're facing. So you could be going to, through a divorce right now, and there's a lot of drama going on over there. This person that you were dealing with was really um, very much a bully, uh, a very overbearing kind of energy coming on over there. Somebody who's very selfish that you have been dealing with as well, with that king of of clubs and it's got to do with uh, you know the home issue there uh, you've got the tree over there so whatever's been uh, happening maybe it's even affected your health but there's also something that is going on uh, within the home that's causing uh, problems over there you've got the contract card over there and the queen of uh, cups or the queen of hearts which is like the queen of cups so you're very depressed about it maybe you're thinking about breaking or ending this particular contract or breaking or ending this marriage so maybe you are uh, maybe seeking some legal counsel as well or waiting for some kind of judgment involving this uh, relationship that you have um, it looks like whatever goes on it there will be success in it so it's going to go in your favor whatever the outcome or whatever the decision is uh, regarding this issue so it could be a you know a it, it looks like it's a relationship issue involving, uh, you can see the bride is standing by herself. So this is about separation as well. And it's the king of spades. So a legal separation and, you know, breaking contracts as well over there. Or maybe you've heard some kind of shocking news about that marriage. Uh, but it looks like whatever that decision is, whatever the legal decision is, uh, it's going to be going in your favor. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing cards from the um, Tarot of Fate. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the uh, three of stones over here. So maybe, uh, you know, you've been putting a lot of effort and energy into this relationship. Uh, or, um, and it looks like, you know, there's been a lot of criticism from the person that you've been uh, with. Uh, so although you've been working very hard on trying to establish this relationship, you might have joint finances uh, going on there. But it looks like this person is very, very critical of everything that you do. So it looks like there's an ending of that situation. You know, maybe you're a bit um, reluctant to actually let go of it because you've got that four of stones over here, which is the four of pentacles. Maybe whatever your uh, relationship was very established, it, look, it looks like you may have shared property together or finances together. And, uh, you know, uh, you're very reluctant to let go of that situation. But it looks like it's come to its natural conclusion. You've got that ten of cauldrons over there. So the ending of that particular situation. Uh, maybe because this person is so critical of everything that you do. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you're going to be uh, moving on from that situation. Ending it and moving on. So something brand new has come in. Maybe you've been had a lot of focus on your work as well with that Ace of Stones. Uh, maybe this new job has come in for you and this is where you have started uh, putting your focus. This could also be new money coming in for you there. Now, whatever situation you have been dealing with here, there's a lot of conflict because you've got that Five of Swords over there. And this person you're dealing with instigates a lot of problems. They start off a lot of fights and they start off a lot of issues. Uh, with the Five of Swords, it's also dealing with legal problems. So you're trying to sort through legal issues as well. And things may not look like they're going in your favor at this particular moment with that Five of Swords. So uh, you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. This is the Knight of Swords over there, uh, waiting uh, for whatever that decision is uh, at the moment. 
So going into the future, it looks like you're going, you know, you've been putting a lot of effort and energy into it. You've got this ten of sphere, spears, which is like the ten of rods. So a lot of issues been going on, a lot of hard work. You're very stressed out as well. And it looks like this person is up to no good. Uh, you can see this little uh, pixie is stealing this man's spear. So, you know, maybe you feel like all that work is in vain and this person is not appreciating anything you're doing and you have been putting a lot of effort and energy and they've been giving you a lot of responsibilities as well. And they have been very sneaky about whatever they're doing at this particular moment. Now, you've got the three of cauldrons over here. So this is about, you know, things will start going your way. This is the card of celebration. And there's a lot of support coming in for you if uh, you are going through some kind of uh, divorce or legal separation. Also, this card is advising, you know, if you're overindulging, make sure you just watch how you're doing. You want to have all your wits about you to be able to deal with this particular situation. Because there's something underhand going on there. Now, you've got the King of Swords, um, sorry, the King of Stones over here. So, uh, this is about, you know, being successful. There could be some kind of financial payout from uh, whatever the legal circumstance is over here. But this is also about you being established as far as finances go. Um, you know, this is the money card. So, money will be coming in for you soon. You could even be getting a new job as well or even getting a promotion as well on the job front. So you've got the seven of spears over here. You need to hang in there, um, you know, uh, make sure you're doing your research uh, and protecting what you've worked for as well. So uh, um, you have to stand up for yourself with this seven of spears. It's important for you to uh, make sure that people get the message. So, uh, you know, protect that which you have worked for as well. And you have been working pretty hard. Um, you know, and you are trying, obviously, with that four of stones. You can see this woman's got four stones in her hand and she's... Um, you know, she's ready to attack anybody. Uh, but it looks like that old situation is now, you know, ending. But whatever you've worked for, make sure that you are watching it because uh, you can see this person stealing. So uh, make sure that, you know, uh, you, you know exactly what's going on over there. And there should be some kind of payout that comes in as well with that King of Pentacles. Now you've got uh, the Chariot card over here and the Judgment and, um, you know, the Page of Cauldrons. So the chariot card is t telling you to, you know, leave behind all that negativity, uh, focus on all the positive aspects of it. And this is also about moving away from any kind of situation and being victorious in it. So you might be even moving home. You may even be buying a new home with that chariot card. But it looks like, you know, you take control of that situation and um, you will be victorious in it. There's some big decision that you're agonizing as well. You're make, trying to make a choice about what to do next. So you are at a crossroads in your life, and it is upsetting you. Uh, you need to get some advice from people around you as well. Uh, and maybe leave that past behind uh, and move on. Shield yourself where necessary and speak your truth where necessary, but also um, make a decision about moving on. And you are feeling very, very shaky at this moment. Uh, you probably are waiting for some kind of news to come in with this page of cauldrons, which is the page, page of cups. Uh, you know, you're feeling as though you don't have a handle on that situation as well. So this is about going and getting some advice, uh, which is very, very necessary uh, in order for you to um, get your stability back again. So whatever's happened has thrown you a little bit. It's made you feel very, very unstable as well. And being an earth sign, you like your stability. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, a need for you to get some advice as well with that page of cauldrons or the page of cups to be able to move around. So just watch out for any kind of sneaky behavior and stand up for yourself because, you know, you need to protect what you have worked for, um, you know, and it looks like there is going to be some kind of financial payoff that comes in as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, angel tarot. And uh, you've got the page of water over here, which is the same as that page of cauldrons. So it says, a new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. So this could be, you know, news coming in. This could be even an invitation coming in with that page of cauldrons, something brand new entering your life. Um, and uh, it seems like you're going to be beginning something brand new as well with that page of cups or page of cauldrons. You've got the Emperor card over here, so organization, logic, structure, and discipline, leadership. Now, I, Michael tends to rule legal issues, legal matters, so a judgment coming in for you there. Uh, you know, um, uh, it's going to be based on, you know, um, 
justice. It's 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 what's going to be fair. It's a fair decision that comes in there with that emperor card, and it's going to bring in uh, resources as well because the emperor card deals with handling of resources. Maybe you're uh, trying to. Um, uh, you know, sort out the financial situation, and that seems to be what that judgment is about. And it looks like once that gets sorted out, uh, you've got the chariot card, and so this is appearing twice as well in that spread over there. So the chariot there, and the chariot here, which says an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower, public recognition. Now this chariot card is taking control of the reins and moving forward. And like I said, you could be moving home, even buying a new home. But this is a card of victory and achievement. So whatever happens, the judgment goes in your favor. And like I said, there could be even finances coming in with it, a settlement coming in, but you are going to be victorious in it. So whatever that legal decision is, there's victory on your part as well with that. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Just watch your back, really. Uh, you know, you can see there's a lot of theft going on over there. Uh, and um, please don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages have resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.